Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. We're here with Rodney from the one and only Salvage Motorsports. Say what's up, dude. Hi. <laughs> what's up, everybody? We're back with this abomination of a car. I guess I'm going to pull stuff off of it today and make it look slightly better. We got a lot of work here, so let's get started. All right, you do the work. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> And that about does it. Look at all these wonderful parts we pulled off. Actually, these are all bad parts. These are the things that had to come off because we are switching everything in this car to be like brand new again. And we had to take off all the stuff that got burnt in that fire. Here's the exhaust and the drive shaft. Good job, Rodney. Let's take a look inside the engine bay. And you can see with these detailed shots, just how bad everything is. Literally everything from the firewall forward needs to be taken out. So I think we'll just, I'll let Ronnie talk about this, but here's the parts again. There's the battery. Oh my God. Oh, I've never seen a battery like that. And look at this. That's the coolant reservoir. It's toasty. Well, so good riddance. We all this Popped stuff off, off those the tires and let's go. Today. Rodney did a good job and pulled all of these parts that kind of got burnt off. And that's how it looks now. So yeah, we got a little bit done today. Just a little bit. Pulled all the melty harness, battery, plastics, coolant reservoir, miscellaneous fiberglass and carbon fiber shields that was all over it. And anything that's, that's all garbage, that all piles garbage. Pulled the wheels, just really got this thing prepped to drop the subframe and the drivetrain because we're just going to drop uh, engine trans, TKs, struts, brakes. Just every, this whole front assembly is just going to come down and uh, yeah, get out of here and so we can clean up the engine bay. Get out of here. Because uh, we're probably going to end up having to replace some brake lines, brake booster, a lot. Just everything up here is going to be replaced. It was all just, as you can see. Everything that's not the long block. Yeah, basically. everything's just so damaged. And I'm just looking at it and I'm just wondering, uh, it might just be easier just to use that whole drop out, dude. Drop this whole thing out. And drop the other it, one in? Drop that one Rewire out. Rewire it? Yeah. And Through just the firewall, there, call it a day? And it'll be done instead of pulling this one out, pulling all the damaged stuff off of this, putting it back together, putting it back in there. That's just a long, drawn-out process. I mean, I'd love to reuse this one. I think it's good. I think it's good. We'll save it for uh, another car. Yeah, that's what I want. You know what I want to do? Another project. <laughs> you want another Focus yeah, RS? That's what I want to do, man. <laughs> I really want... You know what? <laughs> the good how suggestion. About, how about you just start buying all the cars? Oh, and, man. Uh, you know? All right, and, let me come I'll up with some money. We'll talk about it. And I'll go ahead and knock out the projects. All right? Because <laughs> I think we got like 10 projects out there already um, that need to get done for the channel. That's this right. being one of them, and I think the quickest way to get this one done is just dropping this out, taking the parts car one and throwing it in. Swapping that front end and calling it a day. Yeah, it'll, it'll make this, uh, you know, half the times faster, five cool. times faster at least, you know? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that actually makes the most sense. 
because we know that one already runs and drives, clearly, and we've already drove in, you know? I, I, I have no, I, I have full confidence in this one too, the trains and the engine. I, I believe that it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. It's just a lot more work to get it to the point where it needs to be because everything that's melted has to come off. You know, you got a oil pan, intake manifold, all the coils, valve cover, just everything, dude. It's all, all the sensors up top. Like there's a lot of Literally there, everything. Dude. Everything, yeah. you know? Yeah, and, look I, at the, I, and, I, and, and, look, and look at this. All the stuff that got cut just to take that, all the harness out. Yeah, like that, that ABS pump's gonna have to come out of there. I don't trust it. Brake master cylinder. Brake booster is going to have to come out. I don't trust it. I don't even trust some of these brake lines. I'm going to probably take a lot of the brake lines from that car, rerun them, shifter cables. I'm going to have to go inside the car and pull them. Just, uh, just you know, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. You know, we're going to have to pull the windshield too. Oh, that's uh, right. Let's look at that. And get that out of here. Windshield, all this stuff. All oh, that A pillar is just going to get touched up and repainted because yeah. that don't come off of the car. Okay. So that will just have to get touched up. But we got fenders maybe. from that one. Yeah. So we won't have to get the fenders touched up. We'll just take the ones off of that one. Okay, perfect. So Swap them. Yeah. But I think that's the quickest way of getting this one done and moving on to the next project. We don't want to be stuck on one project for too long, right? I like it. We don't want to draw this out like, uh, you know, have a 50-part <laughs> series on a Ford Focus RS. I mean, there's a lot to do here. So you, you could kind of draw it out to maybe 10, 10, 10 videos. But, but do, do we want to do... do what would you guys rather see? Would you rather see us just take that drivetrain and put it in? Or do you want to see me tear this one completely down and re-put everything back on it with good parts? You know, because I, I got, I probably got 90% of these parts, I'm sure, from, yeah. that, from that other third RS that we had that was hit really hard in the front. They can choose and uh, choose our path. Yeah, choose our path. The other one's going to be faster. Put, put, it, put it in the comments, and we'll do what you guys want. We're at your mercy. For now. For now. <laughs> Brando. It has electrolytes. Seven up to us? I don't know. I don't think so, dude. I think you're confused. Well, we're going to have to cut it short for today because we don't got the cart or the tire here to drop this engine on because we're gonna drop the engine trans and TK straight out of the bottom with the subframe and the struts and all that good stuff. The whole assembly's gonna come out and to make it more movable, we're gonna need that car. So I guess that's it for today. You guys already know the drill there. You gotta like at the bottom down here somewhere and then subscribe also somewhere at the bottom, I think, or maybe it's up to, I don't know. I don't watch YouTube. I'm just here to make the videos. So do all that cool stuff. We'll catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later.